Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. Okay, I just saw on Salad's website their demand now for 4090s, 5090s is high. So that means there's a lot of available jobs for GPUs. So if you're on Salad right now, let me know down below if you guys have gotten a job. But what I want to do in today's video is move over a few of my RTX 4090s and actually a 5090 over to Salad and I want to see if they will get rented, right? Right now the demand seems to be high, so there's a lot of available jobs according to Salad actually. So I have a 4090 on Salad right now. So I've actually moved this one over like about two weeks ago and it looks like it does have a paying job about what 16 cents a day 16 cents an hour sorry at what three dollars 42 cents a day so according to their network monitor here the 4090s high demand right now is supposed to make 19 20 cents a day so i want to see if that's the case and also 5090 as well okay so i'm gonna move them over and actually i gotta install windows on a few of the rigs because uh, i moved them on hive os but we got an RTX 3090 here. 3090s seem to be in high demand as well. And actually just a bunch of other uh, GPUs are in high demand as well. So why is Salad in high demand right now? Well, this is what Salad told me. There's over 1,000 jobs already live on the network, mainly for 4090s and 5090s. The workload is ZK proofs, okay, apparently. And they want to scale up an additional 1,500 nodes mainly 4090s and 5090s and actually the reason why you can see 3090s are in high demand or needing demand right now is that salad gave this client free credits for mainly 3090s and 3090 ti's so there's actually more jobs available uh, which covers you know the 30 series 40 series 50 series uh, other you know gpus that's why we can see you know uh, 4070 ti here 4080 you know 4070 ti supers those are available as well and the jobs are expected to last three months so if you're on it right now and you can get this job for the next three months i mean that would be a pretty decent paying job for your gpus and they said they might extend it after the three months so it depends on if it's the right price on salad or not but yeah, right now, yeah, combined with everything, all the GPUs you guys can see on the high demand list right now on Solid, there are a couple thousand jobs available, essentially. So for anyone that has any of these GPUs, get them on Solid, try to get a paying job, link down below if you haven't made an account yet, and download the Solid Windows installer and go to town, see if you can get a job if you're interested. All right, so I'm gonna go through the process of installing Windows on a few of my 4090 rigs and also this 5090 rig. So I'm gonna use Rufus, I'm gonna install the ISO on a USB stick, get Windows installed on each one, install the drivers, uh, you know, do all that stuff, Windows update. And some of you may be wondering, Red Panda, how did you control your AI rigs, your salad rigs, especially if they're in Windows? Well, this is what I use, okay? It's an HDMI, a headless HDMI adapter and it just goes into the HDMI port on a GPU and then I use Google Remote okay to be able to remote into Windows essentially on each rig uh, to be able to you know control solid you know make sure it's up and all that kind of stuff so yeah the headless HDMI is basically uh, sometimes Google Remote or any other you know remote software team viewer any desk it might not show up on the screen it might be just blank screen so you need a headless HDMI adapter to uh, circumvent that. Okay, so yeah, for anyone that's uh, wondering how to remote in, I know some people use RDP, I don't know, some other, any desk, team viewer, there's a bunch of others, but I use Google Remote because it's free and uh, the headless HDMI, yeah, easy to implement and uh, that's how I remote in. Okay, I'm not gonna go through the process of how to install Windows on a machine. You guys probably know how to do that. So I'll be right back. I will see you in the computer and I will be remoted into all the rigs that I have salad on and then we're gonna see if they are gonna attain a salad job and we'll see how much they pay, all right? So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been a couple hours, uh, no, more like six hours. I had some dinner, but I got a 4090 and a 5090 on salad. Well, sorry, installed Windows, went through the whole process and everything, and uh, installed Google Remote, Nvidia driver. Uh, there's a few other things I did, 
Uh, maybe I'll talk about that right now, actually, before actually before we talk about that. Uh, let me just start the uh, start the uh, here. We're going to start chopping. So I have not run it yet. OK, I just installed it. Right. I updated all the drivers and everything. So let me just get this started as we talk and we'll see if it gets uh, we'll see if it gets a job. OK, and uh, we got to turn on the other one. Actually, you know what? I can actually open all three with uh, Google remote here. Open in a new tab. OK, so you guys can see I have no issues connecting because I have the headless HDMI adapter link down below. If you guys need this adapter, uh, it helps a lot. It helps with uh, basically making Google remote uh, to work uh, in the browser. But OK, so let me just let me just turn on the other one here. Oh, the 5090 found a job. <laughs> there you go. Instantly. It found a job. Uh, I already have another 4090 here. That's uh, that's the one I showed in the beginning. That already has a job. Looks like it's going up in uh, last 24 hours. That's good. But then I have another 4090 here. I just installed Windows here. Okay. Let me uh, chop now. Let's see if this gets a job. Okay. I, I don't have any magic. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it found a job right away. <laughs> it, so... The high demand it's it's yeah there it is Th that's why it's when i found it yeah right away you can you guys can see I, i'm not making this up I, I don't have any special code directly to salad or whatever i just installed salad on this rig okay so while that's going hopefully we'll see if it starts uh generating some profit but so for example just to talk about my installation tips here uh i don't know if anyone really cares for it but uh, i think for, for anyone that is or has been installing salad uh, installing Windows, there's a few things, you know, you got to make sure is done. So obviously installing Windows, doing Windows update, doing the latest NVIDIA driver, uh, you get all that done first. Uh, also, the uh, this is one thing I think some people miss is the Ethernet driver. OK, so I actually had <laughs> when, when I installed everything, I did a Windows update. I thought I had all the latest drivers. You know, I thought normally Windows update would grab everything, but no, it doesn't. So it didn't grab the latest. Uh, I have a Realtek 2.5 gigabyte uh, Ethernet controller here. It was at uh, 2017. Okay, it was 2017 driver, and so I was like, no, that's not going to fly because I think a lot of the uh, AI workloads, uh, the software, especially for Salad and you know all these software need you know optimized network connectivity, and so driver support. The latest, having the latest driver, you're going to get that optimization, the latest updates, efficiency, certain hot fixes, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so it's always best best practice to update the the network driver uh, for your salad rigs, in my opinion, okay, to make sure you have just all that support and all the upgrades and hot fixes, whatever needs to be done over the past. <laughs> it was an old driver 2017. So I'm like, okay, I got to update the driver on that. So I did that on all my rigs. And it just, you know, it's gonna it's gonna bode well that way. But yeah, that's Basically, all I did, NVIDIA driver, uh, the Ethernet driver, you can see my rigs here. I have a thir Ryzen 9 3900X 12-core processor uh, for this one, 64 gigs of RAM for this 4090 here. And then the second 4090 is also, I believe, a 3900X as well. Uh, let's see, CPU. Yeah, oh, sorry, no, 5950X. Okay, 5950X, 64 gigs of RAM, and a 4090. And then this 5090 you guys probably know this rig. This is a 7945HX. This is the Minis Forum uh, motherboard CPU combo I got from Minis Forum. I bought off their website for like $220. An amazing deal. Okay. It was short lived and already sold out. People bought a bunch of them and they stopped selling it for that price. There was a coupon code uh, that's far gone already. But coupled it with 64 gigs of RAM and then this is a 5090. Okay. So, oh, looks like it's, it's actively running the job now. Uh, doesn't say how much it doesn't say how much money it's making okay but we'll let this go okay and this one this one's still oh no nope, this 49 <laughs> this 4090 is now running an active job okay so success wow i there we go the two rigs i installed windows on took me definitely took me a couple hours that was that's one of the downfalls with uh with salad hopefully they're they did talk about having a linux option further down the road and the multi gpu option down the road so that'll be cool but there you guys go okay so we are we are rented and i'm curious okay so how long this is going to last i guess they said three months so i will i'm just going to keep this i'm just oh there you go 
it's it's getting some numbers here four to nine cents i'm assuming this is going to go higher um they did talk about low priority jobs so i hope i don't get into that realm maybe i get i'll get pushed up but maybe this might change in the next bit here you know what i'm gonna let this run for the next hour i'll be right back and then we'll see how much this 5090 is earning and uh this 4090 if it's uh yeah it looks like this is actively running a job okay so i'll be right back Okay, it's been more than an hour. It's been a couple hours, actually. October 18th, 2025. Still the same day. So I wanted to show you guys here. Okay, in terms of profitability, it looks like uh, the 5090. I'll show you the 5090 first. So it's making between 8 to 19 cents an hour. So not the projected, uh, let's see, 5090. It's supposed to be 22 cents. All right, it says uh, average earning rate for top 25% hourly. Maybe it's because I need a full day to see if it, you know, averages out to be 22 cents per hour. Who knows? But just wanted to show you here, it's been using a good 575, goes down to 300, 289 watts. You can see it's fluctuating here. <laughs> Sometimes 620 something, uh, according to MSI Afterburner. And I recommend in Windows, if you're going to, you know, run a 5090, 4090, or any GPU for that matter. Uh, it's good to have MSI Afterburner as well uh, to have it installed and also to keep the GPU nice and cool. So fan, you go to fan and uh, enable the user-defined software. Um, you can move up the fan speed according to the temperature. And I, you know, this is my 5090. I want this thing to be cool. So I have it around here. So 70% fan at all times, but depending on the, the temperatures, um, so it is running at max 600 watts, it seems, um, according to the MSI Afterburner here. Um, so it's hovering around 70 to 73% fan speed. So the GPU itself is around 63. 50, it's jumping around. This, whatever it's mining, it seems ZK proof. I believe it's uh, some type of mining algorithm, potentially, that it is mining of some sort. So it's using definitely a lot of power. So yeah, I don't want this GPU to burn. So you know, disclaimer, it's good to protect your GPU, make sure the fan speed is uh, at an optimal, optimal range. Okay. Uh, depending on the, uh, the temperature. Okay. Make sure you define it in the MSI afterburner. So yeah, now let's look at the 4090. Okay. So my 4090 is at 17 cents per hour. Okay. Actively running a job after a couple hours. So that is not bad, but that let's look at how much power. Okay. Power. Uh, look at this. So, okay. I just showed, I can see here, task manager, it's only using like GPU activity to 1%, 27 degrees Celsius. And it's, it says that we have a paying job here, 17 cents. So maybe 18 cents. So maybe it's, maybe it's just sitting, yeah, it's sitting idle <laughs> over the past couple hours. It hasn't been, uh, it hasn't been over 20, 19 watts, 23, oh, peak up 23 watts here. So it looks like it's, uh, it's not being utilized for anything right now. Um, uh, that, good for me. I, that's actually what I've noticed on some AI jobs, especially depending on what they're doing. Sometimes the GPU is really not doing much and sometimes it's sitting idle for many hours of the day and doing nothing. And then all of a sudden it goes full power. So that's actually one good thing regarding this whole GPU rental platforms, whatever, whichever one that you're on, uh, depending who's renting it, you know, they they may not be, um, they may not be running a job, you know, and until much later or something like that. So, well, I'm, I'm all for it. So we're going to see how long this lasts. I, uh, yeah, you guys saw it. My GPUs were instantly rented. So if anyone else is trying it, let me know down below. If you guys are also getting uh, rented GPUs, looks like 3060 Ti's is showing high here, 5070s. Yeah. So we're going to see if this lasts for the next couple months. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated. But so far, so good. So if you guys got any 4090s, 5090s, Put them on and uh, see see how it goes. But uh, we you can see here my earnings. The rigs are definitely yeah they are they are earning now. So that's a good sign. Okay, let me know your guys' thoughts. Links down below if you want to sign up for Salad. Get your rigs on. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out. Links down below for the headless HDMI adapters, so you guys don't have any problems with your Google remote or you know remoting into the rigs. <laughs> let me know. All right, peace out. Peace out.